Yo, JD here, and as you can see by that previous clip that was supplied by Don Silver, that is just an example of what happens when someone leaves and joins a session on F1 2018. And I've been doing quite a bit more online recently, and this is a pool Ricard again, which we did a video on yesterday if you want to check that out. Hopefully you were entertained by that. It's quite funny, but also kind of scary at the same time that that's actually allowed. So I really do hope that is removed and leaderboards are wiped and yeah, just something is done about that. But we've done a online session here. We're almost starting last P17 as usual. Not many game attacks being supplied at the moment, but I feel I've got some good pace around here using my TT set, which I'll be doing a video on soon where I think the TT setup does work very well, but there's a few little tweaks I would probably recommend for a 25 or 50% race. Otherwise, you'll probably overheat your tyres and just have way too much oversteer. But at the moment, making up some positions quite nice in this first lap. As usual, it's a bit chaotic in sprint mode. or well, not sprint mode, but on rank lobbies. Rank lobbies are probably the best way to go if you want to be a little bit more cleaner racing if you're not doing any league racing or anything at all. But up into P11, made up six positions in the first lap here. Someone is just going off the track, so a yellow flag coming into here now. And another little overtake it here. Pretty nice, trying to be as clean as possible, as always. Trying to be as a Red Bull, just barging out of the way. Hopefully we'll go take advantage of that slip through, as we're almost going to be free wide, going into this completely flat out right-hander. Trying to keep our foot in as we just a little bit off the gas there, because otherwise we'll just probably spin out. But made up 10 positions now. And I was hoping for a nice, clean race now at this point. I really enjoyed this track. It's probably one of my favorite tracks on the game itself. I just really like the flow of it, how it actually feels. Going in third gear now. Still no game attacks on the screen. And hopefully we can try and catch this lead, lead group down uh, instead. So fourth gear, second gear as usual. I think someone's almost going to go down the inside there. Don't know who set that fastest lap. But now we're going to put into overtake mode, which on the straights is definitely quicker than a hot lap. Hot lap, you want to be using it for the slow speed corners. You can see, pulling it back down to low for this. But if you're doing really a qualifying lap, you want to be doing hot lap for the slow speed corners and overtake for gears five to eight, really, I think works best. But as I said, we'll, we'll be doing a video on that, but I just want to play around a bit, a bit more to I make a, a full video with my full confidence of what actually works. As you can see now, uh, some frame rate issues now, and this, seems to be the norm when someone actually leaves and joins the session but luckily that time it wasn't actually too bad again someone actually ghosted that time as jason has just had enough which i don't really blame him too much for but we're made up our way into the fifth place now and again the frame rate and you can see my wheel uh, before then my wheel was just all over the place because it's not only the frame rate it actually affects my force feedback at the same time as well and that gives us a warning because we just literally had no control of the car. Someone's got a yellow flag or someone's got off the track again, but I think they've just been waiting for someone else's left now, which it just whenever someone leaves and joins the session, it just absolutely just makes the, the frame rate go absolutely crazy. But up into fifth place now, trying to catch this guy in fourth. We don't know who is who it is again, which is it's really unsatisfying because you just really want to know who you're actually racing against, but fourth gear into here now trying to get a good exit of this maybe possibly get him down the straight trying to clip this curb on the inside like i just did because it just is just not the fastest way you want to avoid the curves but overtake mode for this now I'm not going to be close enough going down this main straight putting it back down into the lower era saying just to try and campaign conserve the battery for the late laps which i think the league racing is probably going to be one of the most important things is just saving the battery as much as possible trying to use your raw speed you can see now someone's left the session you can see the frame rate was just abysmal there it's absolutely abysmal which again i think it's now come back again but you, you can't be racing with this this is just i don't really want to go on a rant too early but it's just really disappointing that there's just issues every time that the game comes out every single year on multiplayer not even on multiplayer but even on career mode there's glitches and stuff as well it, it, it needs to be thoroughly tested. I know people are saying, oh, who tested the game? Well, I didn't test the game this year. And I just, I just don't know why there's issues. Oh, every 
single release there sh a game should not have any issues at all like games like Call of Duty or League of Legends or whatever you know they have some issues but they're rectified really quickly they're not game breaking issues like if you couldn't see someone's gamer tag or you were having massive frame rate with someone's leaving a card lobby or something like that you know that'd be absolute uproar but these kind of things seem to be just accepted and I think someone in my comments put I think someone put it yesterday really really nicely that Every year there's massive issues at the start of the game. It takes six months for people to start fixing them, which actually just creates more issues in itself. And then eventually they just forget about it because they're just focused on the new game. And I don't want this to be a rant or anything at all. And I really do hope someone from Co-Master is actually watching because you know, I'm taking part in the pro series and stuff as well that on this game. Um, it's just, you know, I love playing F1. That's how I've hopefully helped people a lot. It's my passion of racing, but having these issues it just really should not be the case at all and it's not just this there's just other multiple things like the ghosting system just the no gamer tags there's a quite a few things each year that seems to happen which you know i think should just be recognized straight away and it's just very disappointing that it seems to really be brushed aside at times that not really too much focus is really put into actually Achievements, because I'll read the patch notes, it just says online stability fix. I want it to be a bit more specific in what they're actually fixing because this is the case on all platforms as well. And also, get the track limits <laughs> that we had with this track that I had in my video on yesterday. I think, how was that not, you know, something that should be found out? We didn't get to, to test it in the beta or anything at all. Uh, we've been in quite a few times, quite a few years, but. You know, I know career modes are a very big selling point of the game, but for long longevity of the game, I think it really needs to be fixed on in terms of online. Just having a stable, consistent online where there's just not game-breaking issues on, on day one, and they don't take months to get fixed. But I don't really want to go too much around because I know that the guys at Co-Masters absolutely love them. They're, they're so passionate and they're very skilled and talented what they do, but I just feel it just needs to be a little bit more attention uh, at times. There's just a bit more thorough testing rather than focusing, putting all your eggs in one basket in terms of one aspect of the game. I think the whole game needs the, the same amount of love uh, per game itself. But let me know what you think, really, if you agree with that. <laughs> It's just very frustrating that we just can't pick up the game and just you know, have it working straight away. It's just always seemed to be something, an issue, which it just really does need to be fixed. Because in previous games 2013, there weren't really game-breaking issues really at all. But again, here, I think someone's left. I don't even know what's happened. But the frame rate is just... It's hard when you're doing small beta testing with not a big... Um, audience, a big data pool, um, you probably won't have these issues because it's so many different connections coming to one, which I can't understand that, but, you know, it, it's just really, really frustrating. As I said, there's, there's many other things as well, which I think could have been far more obvious, but it just seems to be every year this happens when other games, you know, maybe they don't have as big budget as you know, other super games like COD or other games like that, but they, they don't happen in those games, so... Let me know what you think. If you are suffering with these issues and stuff as well, it's just really annoying because all I want to do is just race. And I think if that was just fixed and you had those issues, then it would be an amazing, fun game to, to play, really. And it just kind of annoys me when I see reviews saying Game of the Year when they haven't tested the online, the whole game itself. I don't think it's really fair to do a review until all aspects of the game are actually tested. But you can see here, I don't know if it's affecting anyone else because I've just lost positions here. And... It's just really frustrating. Imagine if it happened in a league race or... I don't know. It won't, probably won't happen as much because people won't be leaving and joining as much. But still, playing online is just... Very annoying. But hopefully that's my little rant over. Hopefully you are enjoying the game with next to no issues at all. But if you are, please let me know what you're experiencing. Which hopefully could be used as a little bit of a feedback thing if someone's actually watching us from Codemasters. But nevertheless, hope you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for supporting my channel recently. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.